On your Pledge Music page, you talk a bit about your first Casio keyboard, which came to you in a pretty serendipitous way. Can you tell us that story? Do you still have it? The answer is absolutely. I still have it. Um, can you guys see it? It's right here with my broken key that buzzes. Um, so the story is I was living in Philadelphia at the time. I was taking piano lessons in the jazz practice room, which was about 20 minutes away from where I lived, and I was secretly writing songs in my room. and. And, um, and I started thinking, what if I had a, a little keyboard in my room? I could write every day. And I didn't have a lot of money, so I, I couldn't buy a, a piano. And I started dreaming about getting this little Casio keyboard in my room and thinking about it all the time. And, and, uh, and one Saturday night in particular, I had this incredibly vivid, magical dream. And I woke up in a kind of stupor, kind of half awake, half asleep, and I was sort of floating around. And I needed to walk to the library which was down Walnut Street, and to take the straight and narrow linear path, that would have taken me a um, shorter distance, about, you know, 20 minutes, and instead I kind of was just following, you know, my instincts and my intuition and, and my spirit, if you want to call it that, and I took um, the longer route down this beautiful winding road um, with all these beautiful green trees, and, and I, I passed, on that one Sunday they were having a church sale, and I passed by it, and and they had that exact Casio keyboard I had dreamt of the night before and I had been dreaming about and thinking about for months before that. And I totally freaked out. I lost it, completely lost it. And I, I said, oh my God, that's the keyboard that I've been dreaming about. And how much is it? And they told me it was $20. And, and they, I said, can I check it out to see if it works? And they gave me this um, Nintendo charger and I tried it out and, and it was buzzing a little bit, but it was perfect. It was just this amazing, perfect synchronicity or kismet or it was the universe just working with me and I, um, I ran to the ATM, I got $20 out, I bought the keyboard and from that day on I started writing songs every day and, and it was sort of like this natural decision. I just started um, following the path of my music uh, without even making a decision about it from that day forward and um, it felt so magical and wonderful and like this gentle push, like the universe pushed me into music with that experience. It was so easy and it was so natural and magical. So that's the story of my keyboard and here it is again if you guys want to see it.